Good day everyone, I'm Mom Irene Bueno and I'm going to introduce to you a lesson about quadratic function. So let's start. So for our objectives, we need to differentiate quadratic function to a linear function and determine whether a function is quadratic or not. From our previous videos, we discussed about quadratic equations. So today, I'm going to introduce you to quadratic functions. So what is a quadratic function? Quadratic function is a function where the highest power of a variable is 2. And it can be written in the following forms. And functions can be determined in three different ways. Equations, table of values, and graphs. So let us discuss first how can we determine function through equations. So let us have these two examples. Can you differentiate the two? Yes, very good. The first equation is a linear function. Why? Because the highest power of a variable is 1. While the second equation is a quadratic function. Because the highest power of the variable is 2. So given these two examples, we can easily determine which is a linear function and which is a quadratic function based on the highest power of a variable. How about if the given is a table of values? Can you easily determine if it is a quadratic function? So for example, we have these two given table of values. For us to determine which is linear and which is quadratic among those two table of values, we need to find the difference between the adjacent y values. So let us have first the table of values. We are going to find the difference between the adjacent y values starting from right going to the left. So let us have 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 1 minus negative 1 is 2. And negative 1 minus negative 3 is also 2. As you can see, the first difference are all the same. So let us proceed to the second table of values. We are going to do the same process, subtracting from right going to the left. So 0 minus negative 3 is 3. Negative 3 minus negative 4 is 1. Negative 4 minus negative 3 is negative 1. Negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. So as you can see, the first difference are different values. So if they have different values, we are going to proceed to the second difference. So 3 minus 1, 2. 1 minus negative 1 is 2. Negative 1 minus negative 3 is also 2. So since we have the same values on our second difference, we can now determine which table of values is the linear and which is quadratic. So let us have the graph. We can easily determine if it is a linear function or a quadratic function. Why? Because the graph of a linear function is a straight line, while the graph of a quadratic function is what we call the parabola. When given an equation, how do you determine if it is linear function or quadratic function? If the given is an equation, we can easily determine if it is linear function or quadratic function, depending on the highest power for a variable. If the highest power of a variable is 1, therefore, it is a linear function. If the highest power for the variable is 2, then it is a quadratic function. When given a table of values, how do you determine if it is linear function or quadratic function? When given a table of values, if the first difference are all the same, therefore that is a linear function. 
But when it comes to quadratic function, the second difference are all the same. How can you identify if the given graph is quadratic function or linear function? If the given graph is a line, that is a linear function. But if the given graph is a parabola, therefore that is a quadratic function. Remember, the parabola opens upward or opens downward. So whether the given is the equation, table of values, or graph, we can easily determine if the function is quadratic or not. So I hope you learned something today with me, Mom Aryan Bueno, and subscribe on this channel for more math videos. Bye!